Hey there, Sales Funnel Nerd here, and welcome to this video today where we're going to talk about selling your first product using ClickFunnels. Now, in this one here, I'm going to talk about how to sell your own digital product inside of ClickFunnels. If you're selling services or consulting, you can totally do that in ClickFunnels as well, but in this one, we're just going to talk about how to sell your own digital products uh, using ClickFunnels here. So, three steps, pretty simple here. We need to create the offer and the sales copy first, because that's the most important part. And if you don't have that done, don't even bother with the next two steps. Second is we want to build out our funnel steps, figure out how our funnel is going to be laid out and what we're going to have in there. And the third thing is to create the product and test it out. All right, so we're going to jump in and take a look at each one of these steps here. Now, when it comes to creating your offer and your copy, uh, sitting down and creating your offer is pretty easy. I always like to make sure that I've got some type of uh, upsell or a deluxe model along the way. And then when it comes to creating your copy, I'll show you as far as, um, you know, if you know how to write copy, that's an invaluable skill. If you don't, I'm going to show you a quick shortcut here. So... This is Funnel Scripts. I'll have a link to this underneath so you can check it out. Uh, but this really makes things simple as far as if you're not good at writing copy. Uh, it just kind of generates things for you. And the nice thing about this is it's usually got a video for each one of these script generators. Uh, there'll be a video that shows you how to use it, uh, instructions for it, and then some example project. Now, these are important because if you click on this, it will preload all these fields and it kind of makes it a little bit easier versus starting with a blank field. And then I like to fill them up with the sample stuff and then just write my stuff over top, right? I'll show you what I mean. I just come along and I type in my stuff and it's seanbailey.com. Okay, so I filled out all these, all these fields and then we just click build. And then underneath here you can see it will generate all these scripts for me. So I've got an audio video script I can use on my page. And then I can take this and just click copy and then paste it into either my page or into a Word document or wherever uh, I'm going to put it here. So you can see here for the squeeze page, uh, I've got um, my headline, how it should be all laid out here, how the form should be, what the button should say, uh, all of my information all laid out. And all I have to do is just copy and paste it. And that's just one of these little generator uh, script generator tools here. If you want to do bullets, ads, email, uh, titles, headlines, uh, sales scripts, it is a pretty fantastic tool uh, because it just kind of gets you up and running with the sales copy uh, faster than just trying to sit there and hammer it out with a blank page. So the next step is that we want to build out our funnel steps, right? All the, however it's going to be, if there's going to be an opt-in page and then a VSL or there's going to be some content pages, or it's going to be like a launch page, however it's going to be set up. But when it comes to uh, the actual digital product here inside of ClickFunnels, we need to make sure that one of our steps is set up for uh, a sales page and then an, an order form. Now when we go in here, they've got lots of different uh, templates that we can choose from here. I'm just going to grab one real quick uh, because the important thing is, is once we go in and customize this, now, there's certain elements that you want to pay attention to. So when we're in here, we're going to go and customize everything. We want to make sure uh, that we've got um, an order bump in place. All we have to do is just go in here, and I like to add it right before the uh, button to buy here. All we have to do is just add an element and then go in. And these aren't going to show up if you don't have an order page. If you don't see these, it's because you're using the wrong type of page. It has to be an order page for you to see these specific elements here. But we just click order bump. And then we can go in and customize that. And this is a great way to just increase your profit straight off the bat because people can just click this and then add it to their order um, before they even get to any upsells or downsells or any of that kind of stuff. You get them right when they've got their credit card in hand and uh, you can offer the order bump to them. So once we've got this set up and customized, what we need to do in here is, again, only on the order form page, we're going to see this item here with products. So we want to go in here and we want to set up our product. So all we have to do is just give it a name really, and it needs to be connected up to our payment processor. I'm set up with Stripe here, so we'll just call this test. And then the great thing is we just go in and whatever price we want, if it's $7 tripwire, or maybe it's um, you know a $997 product. This is a, you know, a high ticket uh, training that you're offering. So we just go in and set whatever price that we want for this and then set up the product. Now, I told you that we had the order bump on the page, so if we're gonna do an order bump on here, this is our main product. This is what they're gonna see when they come to the page. We set up a product description. I wanna make sure that this is set for a one-time payment here. Just go down, and that's what I'll really need to do on here. Uh, we'll just call this test. Now, this is just to create it here. We're gonna go back in, click on edit, and then after this is where we wanna go in and we wanna set up our fulfillment email. So once they get access to this, we wanna make sure that we go in and I like to actually change this out and have in big letters like uh, here's 
right? Something like that. Here's the login page link. And then we just highlight this, click on the link here, insert link, and then just insert the link to the actual membership site uh, page if we're doing it through a membership site or we set it up to a thank you page. Uh, and we can do it inside of this funnel or other funnels and we just choose it from this drop down. Anything else that we need to do, we can go, we can set up as far as email integration if we've got uh, email services set up with this, right? We can go and tell it to add or do certain things as far as adding people to lists and what we want it to do. And that's just kind of to set up any kind of post automation for the purchase when they buy the digital product. We want to like give them access to it and then some emails to make sure that they, you know, get full full value and, and uh, consume the actual product here. If we're doing anything with physical, we can go in here as well and set up uh, these two items as far as the shipping, but we're just talking about digital. So all we really need to worry about is uh, these first three items here. So the next thing is that if we're going to do uh, the order bump here, we'll just call this one and we'll just say that it is 77 bucks. Same thing one time, give it a product description, but this time what we want to do is uh, check this box here. This product is going to be the order bump. So if I say create product, boom, now we've got our test and then our bump. And if we actually look at the page itself, so you can see we've got the $997 product uh, listed in our product summary here. And then if I click on the order bump, you can see that gets added to the price. So once they hit and complete, it's going to do both of these items uh, in the initial purchase there. So that's it. That's a, how do you set up your, your first digital product and start selling it with an order page inside of ClickFunnels here. So the last step is to go through, and the nice thing is that this is set up in test mode right here. So all we have to do is we can go through and actually complete a purchase with this credit card number. All you have to do is just use that credit card number, go in and enter in all the information here. I would paste the credit card number in, uh, just make up any any number for the CVC code, and then it just has to be set at any point in the future. Uh, for this test purchase and then that's it you can uh, uh, do a test buy and always make sure you do a test buy and make sure that everything works and uh, when you use this test mode uh, inside of here you can um, do a test purchase without having to like whip out your own credit card and actually buy it but uh, that's how to that's how to set it up and do everything in those steps there so thanks for watching this video don't forget to click like and subscribe and I will have some more funnel goodness and information under this video in the description for you to click on and i will see you in the next video